You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. We need to talk about Eric Forrester's new symptom because a lot of fans are really upset about it, and it definitely has a lot of people worried and wondering, is it cancer? I've also seen other people replying in comments, it is not cancer. I want to say to those answering back, you don't know that. (laughs) And I also just want to say right up front, again, John McCook has not signed a new three-year deal. Those headlines, those are fake news based on one foreign churn site that picked up a 2011 Soaps.com article crediting CBS Soaps in Depth saying that John McCook had signed a new three-year deal as Eric Forrester. CBS Soaps in Depth does not even exist anymore, people. This is an old article, an unreliable, untrustworthy tabloid Lloyd sites are repeating old news as new news. Don't believe it. Enjoy the storyline. Let it unfold. Nobody knows what John McCook's contract status is. So could they be killing him off? Certainly they could. Could they give him something scary and not kill him off? Certainly they could. But there is no buffer of this contract thing. It doesn't exist. Don't believe the tabloids. If it was true, you would have seen it on soaps.com, in the soap magazine, somewhere trustworthy. So you can trust me because I always tell you guys the truth. I do not tell you something is a spoiler unless it's confirmed. No contract. So let's now talk about Eric Forster's new symptoms. So his symptoms were troubling, but this new one that cropped up on the most recent episode is even scarier than the hand tremors, the memory lapse, and the mood swings. So could it be cancer? Possibly. I did some research because there are not a whole lot of illnesses that come with hand tremors and coughing up blood. But when I dug in, I found three kind of scary possibilities but all of them are treatable depending on what stage the illness is in. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And now let's dig in. So on the Wednesday episode of Bold and Beautiful, Eric had this terrible coughing fit. And when he pulled his hanky away from his mouth, we saw blood, a fair amount of blood. That's rarely a sign of something good unless you just have bronchitis and have been coughing on going. If you cough a whole lot because you're sick with bronchitis, yeah, sometimes you'll tear the lining in your throat. You'll cough up a little bit of blood. But for one coughing fit to bring up that blood, that's not good. And then on the Thursday episode of Bald, official spoilers say that Eric keeps this secret from Donna. So let's hope that he calls up Dr. Colby ASAP to tell him about this new development. So with the symptoms of coughing blood, hand tremors, a few memory issues, and some agitation, we dug in, we did some research here, and we came up with three scary but likely treatable maladies that might be plaguing Eric. The first could be mercury poisoning. There are not a ton of disorders that have both hand tremors and coughing up blood, but mercury poisoning is poisoning. Poisoning is one of them, specifically organic mercury poisoning. There's about three different kinds of mercury poisoning. Only one of them carries both of these symptoms. The bottom line, this could be something that Eric was exposed to unintentionally, or it could be something that was done to him. You can be exposed and develop the symptoms later. Of course, I doubt that Donna Logan is dosing her honey bear with mercury, but they could blame it on Quinn Fuller since she's gone and not likely to come back. They could blame it on Sheila Carter because she's the current she-villain and she is a bitter ex-wife of Eric Forster's. So, I hope it's not mercury poisoning, and if it is, I definitely hope they get him over to the hospital for some chelation therapy to get that heavy metal out of his system before it turns deadly, but that's not the only possible explanation. The second thing that it could be that carries both these symptoms is a form of tuberculosis. It's called TBM, tuberculosis meningitis. So it is a form more more so of meningitis than of TB, 
and it comes on gradually. It's a bacterial infection. It affects the central nervous system and can cause headaches, changes in behavior, and neurological issues. And that's what hand tremors are in many cases, a neurological issue. So you can also have blood in your spit when you cough with TBM. The good news about this type of meningitis is that it is treatable, but without treatment, it can cause coma or death. So it's definitely scary. All right. So, so is the last thing we want to discuss. Also scary. I know a lot of people are seeing his hand tremors and some of the memory stuff and they thought Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, but with the addition of this blood in the coughing symptom, I think it really changes the playing field. And I think it takes Parkinson's and Alzheimer's maybe off the table. That's what I think. All right, so the last thing I do want to talk about is cancer. Yes, I do want to talk about cancer because small cell lung cancer based on these symptoms is also now on the table. This type of cancer can cause, and I'm going to try so hard to pronounce this correctly, paraneoplastic syndrome. This happens when cancer cells affect other tissues and organs as the disease progresses. Paraneoplastic cerebellar degeneration is very rare, and it occurs when the body's immune system, while suffering small cell lung cancer, will Will attack healthy cells in the central nervous system and can cause tremors. And of course, coughing up blood is a fairly common symptom of most forms of lung cancer. Of note is that Eric Forster's first wife, Stephanie Forster, died of lung cancer. So I've heard two things. I've heard for years that she asked to retire and wanted them to write her out and they wrote this lung cancer story. And then I've also heard that they decided to let her go and wrote this lung cancer story. So it could be kind of the same situation with John McCook. I certainly hope he's not leaving at all. So it would also be particularly wild if they gave Eric a lung cancer diagnosis since that's what took Stephanie Forrester's life years ago. Of course, Stephanie was refusing treatment. She was diagnosed at stage four, and then the illness took her. She died in Brooke Logan's arms. If Eric is in earlier stages, this could still be a very poignant, very dramatic medical storyline, and he would still come out of it alive. So again, don't rest back and think, I don't need to worry about Eric Forrester because John McCook signed a three-year contract recently. He did not. It's just fake news, y'all. I've shown you the receipts before. You can look back in some of my older videos, but yeah, it's just flat out misinformation. So that has not stopped people from spreading around the fake news. And I'm seeing this network of five or six sites, instead of admitting that they got it wrong, they're trying to spread it. They're trying to rationalize reporting fake news by reporting it some more. We don't do that here. We will not do that here. You're not seeing this story on soaps.com. You're not seeing it in the soap magazine because it's not legit, y'all. For right now, what we've got is Eric Forster with a few memory issues, worsening tremors, and now this coughing up blood incident. Is it lung cancer? Is it this TB meningitis? Could it be mercury poisoning, either accidental or intentional? We don't know. We hope that the doctor will reveal the diagnosis soon. We hope that Bold and Beautiful isn't going to leave us waiting to find out what is plaguing Eric Forrester's health. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Definitely click a like if you're enjoying this conversation and drop your comments below on what you think it is. The bottom line is you guys don't know. I don't know. None of us know. So it's hard to come in and say, oh, it's not cancer. It's not this. It's not that. It's definitely this. It's definitely that. There's a lot up in the air right now. They could be inventing an illness that none of us have ever heard of. They do that sometimes on soap operas. So the bottom line is we don't know John McCook's contract status. We don't know the fate of Eric Forrester. We don't know if this is fatal or debilitating or just something that can be cured with proper medical treatment. But I do say I am intrigued by this latest symptom being added because it is very unlike most things that go along with a hand tremor symptoms. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on the latest medical possibilities as more symptoms emerge and we find out more about this critical storyline on Bold and the Beautiful. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening every day. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. <laughs>
Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 